Via Air's wheels touch the tarmac in Myrtle Beach for the first time Friday. We've been looking forward to this for, for months now. Compared with other aircrafts that frequent the International Airport, this airplane is small and rather unique. It's a 30-seat propeller plane that has been in operation since the late 1980s. The company has been talking with airport representatives since January to tap into the Myrtle Beach market. We've heard verbally and through social media the interest. We want to actually see if that interest pans out. And airport representatives say the way that Via Air announced its start of service here in Myrtle Beach was more non-traditional than other airlines that go to and from this airport. Typically airlines prepare and announce something 90 days out. Uh, Via Air actually announced it two weeks out. Assistant Director of Airports Kirk Lovell admits there were some concerns about getting enough interest and in selling enough tickets on such short notice. But the quick turnaround didn't prevent people from last minute bookings. Around a dozen people were on Friday's inaugural flight. The more people we can get to visit Myrtle Beach, the better. Lovell says this is a great opportunity for the airport because they constantly compete with about 400 airports across the country to attract new airlines. And now that there's a recently renovated terminal ready for use, Lovell says the airport is constantly trying to bring new wings. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, April Baker, ABC 15 News.